Good afternoon everyone, I am Baider Hata C. Adam and I will be discussing the introduction of three ages system and the stone age system and its three category which are the Paleolithic, Mesolithic and the um, Neolithic. Starting with the ancient age, during the 19th century, the world prehistoric period was categorized into what we called Three Ages System. And this system was introduced by Christian Jurgensen Thompson by his published book entitled Guide to in Scandinavian Antiquity. Christian Jurgensen Thompson is an archaeologist and the curator of a national museum in Denmark, and this is where the first artifacts that he arranged came from. When we say curator, his job is to keep and manage the collections. So Christian Jurgensen Thompson was an organizer in the museum. He arranged and sorted out the collections and exhibits in a timely manner. When he was young, he was only into collecting coins and arranged it by year or from the oldest coins to the newest coins. And since he came from a merchant family or a wealthy family, he was also known in the industry. And after that, he was recognized by the Royal Commission for the Preservation of Antiquities as a secretary for his excellent knowledge in history and arts and also for being a well-organized person. Upon fulfilling his job as a curator, he was able to differentiate and categorize each collection or artifacts based on its materials and based on how it is, by its physical appearance. So he divided it into three, the Stone Age, Bronze Age, and the Iron Age. Artifacts made from stone is classified under the Stone Age. Weapons or tools made from alloy of copper and tins are under Bronze Age, while collections made from melted iron, steel, and other metals are from the Iron Age. So let us first discuss the Stone Age and how it was subdivided into three. Since the entire Stone Age is a long period, its dating system is ranging from 2.5 million years ago up until 3,000 years before Christ. According to Christian Jurgensen Thompson, Stone Age is the period of time before a society had a widespread access to metal tools and weapons. From the word stone, most of the tools or weapons used by the oldest humans were made out of stones or rocks. Also, there are some artifacts or weapons that were made out of woods and bones, but stone was the main material um, that they have used before. In the year 1865, John Lubbock was an English banker and an archaeologist just like Christian Thompson. And he is the one who classified Stone Age into two, namely the Paleolithic or Old Stones and Neolithic or the New Stones. According to John, Paleolithic was described as the period where man shared their possessions and they are living together with the wild animals. While Neolithic was described as where the artifacts and weapons are polishedly made and beautifully made. In his book, he also stated that there are no traces of knowledge of any kinds of metals. Instead, there are traces of gold as an ornaments. In the year 1883, Gabriel de Mortelier is a prehistorian who suggested that there are weapons or there are still weapons and tools that were classified in between the Paleolithic and Neolithic. It was later on called as Mesolithic or Middle Stones by John Allen Brown in 1892. In 1892, John Allen Brown termed the late Paleolithic and early Neolithic as Mesolithic or Middle Stones. He is an archaeologist and a prehistorian who described Mesolithic as the period where there were some clear traces of improvement and advancement 
in the way of living of the humans. Going back to the Paleolithic period, Paleolithic period is known as the longest phase of human history and humans were described to evolve from ape-like creature to homo sapiens. They were nomadic and hunter-gatherers and usually their society was consist of 25 to 100 people only. It was also divided into three. Lower Paleolithic, Middle Paleolithic, and Upper Paleolithic period, where in each period there were some clear traces of advancement and development. So first, for the Lower Paleolithic, humans typically used stone for food hunting only. During the Middle Paleolithic, stones were also used for creating fire. And lastly, for the Upper Paleolithic, Stones were also used for building their own permanent settlement or their houses. The second subcategory of Stone Age is the Mesolithic period. This is where tools were handmade and materials can also be found in nature. They learned how to use bow and arrows as well as boats for fishing. They have the same habitation as um, Paleolithic period and usually they live in caves or huts near to lakes and rivers. Their society definitely expands from a small band to a tribe consisting more than a hundred people because during Paleolithic Society was um, divided only into bands and they are usually composed of 25 to 100 people but for Mesolithic, they are consist of more than 100 people. So the third subcategory of Stone Age is the Neolithic period or the New Stones. This is the period where cultural and technological advancement was based on agricultural. They started to grow different kinds of crops like rice, corns, beans, and other crops. And they also did the what we called breeding and domestication of animals such as goats, cattle, sheep, pigs, and other animals. Also, agriculture continued to expand across the inhabited regions of the world. Some settled villages learned advanced arts like pottery, more decorative wall painting, carvings, and other crafts. So lastly, for the Neolithic period, during this period, humans settled in farms to continue their agricultural living and tribes become more bigger until it reach the chief supremacy leadership on the society meaning to say is that their society is being led by their leaders with different rankings to summarize all in all the stone age was a broad prehistoric period where cultural stage and human development were characterized by the creation and the usage of stone tools and weapons. And that would be all. Thank you so much for listening.